So I'm a firm believer that people should be able to do pretty much whatever they want as long as they're not hurting anybody. But if you're moving to the Philippines or you are in the Philippines right now, I don't want you to get mixed up in anything. So today we will explore what not to do in the Philippines as an expat. Do not use taxis without first agreeing on a price. One of the biggest complaints is being overcharged and this is especially true with private transportation such as taxis. In certain in certain areas such as Manila, taxi scams have been a well documented subject. There have been many reports of taxis going the long way around just to increase their fares. Using services such as Grab is often wise, but agreeing on a price before stepping in the taxi is essential if Grab is not available. Ooh. Do not have one night stands without protection. From the data, it appears that over 87% of my audience is men. So this is for the gentlemen out there. There is a great deal of available statistics on sexually transmitted diseases. Now, when we talk about this kind of thing, we know this is not exclusive to the Philippines. However, you'll be surprised about the number of people I've spoken to over the years who are foreigners and Filipinos who have caught something in the Philippines. If it is a one night event, it's best not to take the risk in the long run. Additionally, you can also pick up a bulk order of 100 condoms and even more than that on Lazada for only 2 to 300 pesos. Do not insult the Philippines or its people. Filipinos are incredibly proud people and the pride of the nation is important. The reality is the majority of Filipinos are fully aware of the problems that the country face. One of the familiar talking topics amongst foreigners is the challenges in the Philippines, but this can sometimes be taken as an insult. So as you know, we try to avoid generalization, so this is not the same for every person, but it is often best to be careful about certain topics as we we will discuss in a few moments. Do not expect life to be the same. The Philippines is a unique country. Even though it shares some similarities to other Southeast Asian countries, living in the Philippines is very different from the rest of Asia and it's not uncommon for some to experience a culture shock. Life is different in the Philippines, which is one of the reasons why many expats like myself love the country so much. However, with advantages, there are also disadvantages, thus keeping this in mind when retiring or living in the Philippines will serve you very well. Do not discuss politics or religion with strangers. A moment ago we spoke about the topic of insulting. This tip carries on from this by focusing on two of the biggest areas to avoid, religion and politics. There are currently several divides in Filipino society and certain communities feel very strongly about their beliefs. Therefore, talking about these topics with strangers or people you are not familiar with is often a lose-lose scenario in the Philippines. Do not have only one source of income. Unfortunately, there has been some expats who have entered financially difficult times while living in the Philippines. Some of these are retired expats, so getting a job, especially in the Philippines, is extremely difficult. Therefore, it's often recommended not to rely on only one source of income when retiring or moving to the Philippines. However, the good news is, is that there are several options available for foreigners in terms of business and investment. Do not trust everybody. People are people. No matter where you come from and your experiences, we all have problems, baggage and fears. Most people that you will run into while living in the Philippines are some of the best and kindest people you will ever meet. But as we know, people are people and there may be times where you run into individuals individuals who do not have your best interests at heart. One example of this is the scams. Unfortunately, scams are very common in the Philippines, so it's best to be a few steps ahead when living as an expat. 